your question is what's the difference yeah. between bitcoin and a ponzi scheme um what's the difference between bitcoin and a ponzi scheme very easy to answer first of all a ponzi scheme is a pyramid scheme where those at the top of the pyramid are being paid by those on the lower cadres of the pyramid as the pyramid continues to expand until it gets to a place where it would collapse Exactly. So the Ponzi scheme is not based on anything. You cannot use a Ponzi scheme to buy anything legally. Ponzi schemes are usually shady and they're usually illegal. Right. A Bitcoin, on the other hand, is a digital currency. It's a form of currency that is based on, that is a digital currency, if that's the best way to explain it. Yeah. With Bitcoins, Bitcoins are not fraudulent. Now, it's like buying a share in a bank, for instance. It's not fraudulent. But if it's not regulated, that share can jump from $1 to $100,000 and then you would make a hundred thousand dollars per share or they can drop from one hundred thousand dollars to one dollar and you lose a hundred thousand dollars so that's the problem with bitcoin is what you put inside that you get depending on how it fluctuates up and down it's a decentralized form of currency a decentralized form of digital currency we know now that the american dollar is not really worth what they claim it's worth it's all global politics and uh, and the the dollar is hedged on really does how come the american currency is so strong think about it what is really backing it and the chinese yen meanwhile china, china is <clears throat> one of the world's greatest economies uh, the chinese yen is less than a dollar who who drives who drives these indices and i'm amazed today that the banking sector is talking about banning bitcoin when they didn't ban mmm have you forgotten mmm mmm folded by themselves by themselves you see because it didn't concern let me tell you yeah I'm done with the hypocrisy in many sectors of the Nigerian government. Why didn't they ban Bitcoin? Bitcoin, I said Bitcoin, uh, uh, MMM. Uh, yeah. MMM ran its full time until the thing collapsed by itself. I think MMM wasn't affecting them. It wasn't so, affecting so, them. Yeah, with, with, with uh, Bitcoin, I think the problem here, all I see is greed. Because now, Bitcoin has eliminated banking fees. So, they're not making money. And you Someone said, in fact, the banks open accounts for MMM. Let's think about this. Somebody is using our head somewhere. Now, there's election. There are elections coming up in three years. Or more like two years, actually. Or less than two years. Right? Yeah. And the problem with Bitcoin is people can move money around. You see, the ruling party doesn't want money to be moved around too much when the elections are coming. It's one of the games they all play, whoever is in power. But you see, with Bitcoin, you can't control what comes in and what comes out. So they are afraid. What are you guys afraid of? If you worked hard and did well, would you really be afraid? You see, Nigeria can never progress as a nation until people start putting personal interest behind them and public interest forward. And this message is to our leaders. We can't have leaders that put personal interest above public interest. One thing I would 
always appreciate good luck Jonathan for is the fact that he put the interests of Nigeria first when he lost the election he handed over even his wife did not come for the handover ceremony but he decided to be a gentleman and nobody can hold good luck Jonathan responsible today for anything that could have happened in Nigeria because it didn't happen he just handed over and we need to have more and more of that breed of leaders not those leaders that just want to hold on. and listen yeah it's only a matter of time one of the reasons why the government is afraid of crypto is because it takes away power from the government and gives it to the people the people it strengthens the power of the people against the now when the government is doing what they're supposed to be doing nobody needs to be afraid but when you look around you really if the government had even managed this situation a whole lot better okay guys yeah we want to regulate this we want to control this we want, yeah but outright banning it in a country where there's little else to do do you know how many people have moved away from yahoo yahoo and are now bitcoin traders do you know how many people bitcoin has saved from yahoo yahoo you want people to stop trading or stop doing yahoo yahoo what opportunities have you given them wheelbarrow that you are sharing the other day i saw government sharing wheelbarrow so someone like me now imagine i don't have a job the best thing my government can give me is a wheelbarrow or an okada the banks that are there moaning and groaning talking about how bitcoin what has central bank done for me since i was born is it low interest rates that they gave me so I could borrow money and start a business or build a house? The, 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 the best interest rate a bank has ever given me in this Nigeria is 21%. 21% per annum. When my mates are buying houses on 6% in some countries, 3% in some countries, Please, 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 I'm, I'm live on, on, on Instagram. All of you who borrowed money on, um, to buy, to build houses and uh, all, you, all, all you guys who took loans on your mortgage, please, what's the interest rate? I'm, I, I can see Henry here. I can see Esther Mori. I know you guys, are, you don't live in Nigeria. Please, I want you to tell me what was the interest rate you took i'm not talking about nigerians so because once i see 19 percent, i know it's nigerian people <laughs> which country will give you 19 percent let's talk of the percentage i want you people living stay bright said four percent let me explain that to you yeah if you borrowed one million naira in that country you will pay interest of 40,000 naira a year henry the great said 2.6 percent meaning he is paying back 26,000 naira extra in one year on 1 million naira i am no says 1.79 percent less than 2 percent 17,000 naira is what you'll be paying back on 1 million naira as extra I'm seeing 3.4%. The highest I've seen is 6%. Money Black, what country are you in? Why are you paying 6%? Tim Duncan, you me 10%. That's the highest. The rest, if you are if you are online, as um Ada, just just see what's popping up. 2.4%, 1.7%, really CBN that 
the best bank interest any bank has ever given me in Nigeria before is 21%, right? Then they, I'm running a, a, a loan on, on something at 24 percent really that's the bank that's telling me not to buy bitcoin because bitcoin is a scam bitcoin is a scam like really and you are collecting 23 percent interest from me you that you are not a scam what are you somebody is paying 2.9 percent in new jersey another person one are you looking at these interest rates Ada? and all these countries have not banned yeah. bitcoin all these countries have not banned Bitcoin. Meanwhile, Nigeria, where a bank has the audacity to borrow you money at 25%, 29% per annum, meaning in four years, you are paying back double what you borrowed. And they have the audacity to say Bitcoin is a scam. Like you people are talking to illiterates. Like people just gathered us from the street, and, and, and you thought we had no education. You know, we're in a country where one person can just make a decision and it's no, 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 no. You see, my anger is that people can lose money. I'm losing money every day banking in Nigeria. I wish I didn't have to bank in Nigeria. I wish I could send my money abroad so that I'll be entitled to loans abroad. Let me tell you what a friend of mine did. He lived in Dubai before he relocated in Niger to Nigeria. Okay. He borrowed money and no, this, they had Mumu, two interest, two percent interest and bought regular guy two apartments in the, not the Versace Palazzo, the other one. There's a Versace Palazzo and the Amani the one that was done by Amani. He bought two rooms. I think it was about a million dollars each or $900,000 each. Now, guess what? With those two rooms, when he was able to finish, how was he paying it off? Because people were literally coming to use the hotel and then he was servicing the interest and the loan. After a while, he went in and used those things to borrow even more money came back to Nigeria and set off a factory with five million dollars. I'm sitting down, I'm thinking about it. What could he have done to generate five million dollars in this Nigeria? How does somebody go to Dubai, work for five years, earn a normal income, see an opportunity for investment, borrow money from the government, do the investment the investment pays off and then you now bring the money you have made to come and invest in nigeria was where the banks in nigeria are sleeping these same cbn people that are rapping without beat these same cbn people that are singing a cappella where were they when he was bringing in money from dubai and they wake up one day and then they say something that you can use to fund a business in Nigeria, something that you can use to start up your life is a scam that you can be duped. That can come from anybody, not from a Nigerian bank. Anybody can say that. I put money in the bank for one year, I get 6% interest on it. I was saying it the other day in my live video. There are many things. There are many things that have happened in Nigeria that have not lost, lost faith. Even in SARS, I did not lose faith in Nigeria. I just felt, okay, this is something we can, we, can, we, can, we, can, we can cross over as a nation. Yes, we can deal with it. Police brutality is something that happens across the world. But this... Ah... You can't, you can't, you, you can't hold back the people from trying to make a living when there's no opportunity. Think about it. So sad. You ban cryptocurrency and then you give a letter to the banks not to, 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 to do cryptocurrency. Shame is what me, 
I'm sorry. Anybody that wants to be angry should be angry. My fear is Nigeria might just be left behind in global economic... Might. And then what are you talking about? The other day some buffoons were saying it online that they want to use vaccine to kill Nigeria. Right now, from the latest indication, they say they are not even sending us the 100,000 vials that we don't have the facilities we to store it. Store. We've been disqualified from collecting the so-called vaccine that people say they want to use to kill us. Sadly, but that is I think this is where we're going to call it a day. It's 12, and this is time for the chat session. We will continue later today. It's a new day already. All right, so thank you so much, Ada. Thank you, oh, thank you, it. and um, lovely hanging out with all, all of us. Um, beautiful day it indeed is. Thank you so much, um, and take care of oh, yourself. Now, please, all of you shouting protest and revolution, get off my page. I don't have time for that nonsense. We need leaders who have brain, not more people to go and cause more violence. Like you are not thinking. Go and protest, go and protest, go and protest, go and make noise, go and cause trouble. To add to the trouble that is already on the ground. And Ronuni. Once you come here and you type revolution, I will take you off. We need people here who can think. And we need people who can call them out. I was reading today earlier on, Elon Musk bought $1.5 billion worth of Bitcoin through Tesla. Where are our leaders? Should Nigerian government not have bought Bitcoin as a country? Let them go carry their money and put inside Bitcoin, the money that we don't have. They are saying eh, they are using Bitcoin to fund terrorism. Before Bitcoin came in 2010, what were they using to fund terrorism? Cowrie. Let me tell you, if you like, ban Bitcoin, ban everything until we are ready to start thinking. I said, what is the way out? I don't know. I really don't know right now. But we need to ask, start asking questions. The man is hungry on the street. Don't take away his food. Edoai. <laughs> he said, why are people wasting data to watch this man? And you are on my, on my page typing. Let me switch off YouTube so I can enter you. <laughs> Somebody they insult me, say I'm from Somalia. Well, I Somalia better pass where we did now. <laughs> eh? The government is banning Bitcoin. Do we have light? Light that Ghana has, that Romania has, that normal countries have. Do we have light? They are banning Bitcoin. When I never ban generator so that they go light go day. <laughs> they ban Bitcoin. <laughs> you know why? You know, you know why? I love this country. I love this country. As in when you think Nigeria has fallen to the lowest low. We begin to dig a hole so that we can now fall into the hole that we dug so that we can fall lower than the lowest low. In Romania, a poor country, I was on a bus because I wanted to see the scenery and the mountains. That's how I cajoled my mother. My mother always likes to fly because she doesn't have time. But me, I was like, why are we going to waste $150 and buy local ticket where well, we can just pay $17 and enter bus me I even wanted to see the bus my mother was not having it we we're on the bus for 13 hours 
sorry, 17 hours. It was such a beautiful journey. I was relaxed. Do you know, I carried my phone, my power bank. I loaded enough internet, plugged my phone to my power bank. For that 17 hours, I was talking to taste buds nonstop. We are passing through Canyon. Internet is still 4G. Meanwhile, in Nigeria, I have mast on my roof. I have fiber optic in my ground and the internet is nonsense. But my phone was giving me 4G for 17 hours from Cluj, Napoca, all the way down to Bucharest. There was not one pothole on the road. There was not one police. There was not one thief. There was not one accident. You cannot drive from Lagos to Ibadan. A one hour, two hours journey and not see accident, police, thief. Those are the things they need to go and ban first. We are banning Bitcoin. And if I talk now, I don't they vex things. I don't they vex. You see, I don't care about whatever it is they want to do how they want to run their government i always look away because i believe that nigeria itself is difficult as a country nigerians are a difficult people you know you are the difficult people but my problem is when you see the the poor man on the street struggling when you see him trying to make a way for himself don't cut his supply Don't cut the supply of the poor man on the street. Nigeria has so much potential. But really, where is the encouragement? My brothers and sisters, Thank you so much to everyone who joined in today. I appreciate you guys. And I want you to know that we have a long way to go. We have a long way to go. And it is, it is up to us not to let this potential be wasted. I was watching I saw a picture of people running uh, on your marks and everybody was facing front. Only Nigeria, they face back. Once they say go, like everybody begin their run front, we begin their run, go back. And it was, it was such a deep illustration of where we are today as a people. Everywhere people they face, we they face the opposite direction. Look at religion. Look at our religious leaders. Where do we even start with those ones from? Pastors are not talking now because they know they use Bitcoin pay tight. If to say that they use Bitcoin pay tight, <laughs> when they were waiting me that thing with the one band, the other the way the whole pastor for Nigeria, everybody come out, hey, 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 scatter ground. Pastors are not talking because they are not using Bitcoin to pay tight. Okay, oh. all of you, make when I stop to pay cash. Make when I stop to pay, make when I use Bitcoin, they pay tight for, for the next one year. <laughs> make pastor know if you access the tight. May we see whether they not go talk. <laughs> all right, guys, please make sure you join us. Uh, 99.3 Nigeria Info. It's live and dangerous with Daddy Freeze. Another blessing every single weekday except Fridays. Do join us. And um, live on Wednesday, Buki and I. Kama, God bless you. Kama. Buki and I are going to do Forex with Daddy Freeze and Buki. It's going to be an amazing ride because we're going to, I'm going to bring Buki to talk about forex and bitcoin and the opportunities still available 
So take care and God bless.